is Paul Thomas, Senior Editor with Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Magazine and PharmaQBD.com. And I'm here today at PitCon 2009 with Craig Dobbs. Craig is the Senior Program Manager for Process Analytics with Waters. And today's an exciting day for Waters because it is announcing the Patrol UPLC process system. Craig, thanks for being with us today, first of all. Paul, thank you very much for the opportunity to, uh, to speak with you today. And yes, Waters is very excited to be introducing the Patrol UPLC process analyzer at line system this year at PitCon. And what, uh, what Patrol is really doing is taking UPLC and, and making it into a process analytical technology. And can you take us through a little bit through the history of that in terms of taking liquid chromatography and applying uh, PAT techniques to that? Sure, absolutely. We had a customer who had successfully implemented UPLC technology in their quality control labs uh, approach us and say, we've realized business benefits to utilizing this technology in QC. We see a real opportunity to duplicate that work by bringing that technology down onto the manufacturing floor for in-process QC work. Uh, and in doing so, we had to completely reconfigure the system, and that led us to uh, the development of the Patrol UPLC system. Mm -hmm. And this was just announced today, right? Uh, so, correct. The Patrol UPLC okay. Atline Analyzer was introduced today mm -hmm. to the marketplace. And um, obviously one of its uh, noteworthy features is that it provides real-time data. And just how robust is this real-time data? Yeah, the, the, the system is as robust as our Acuity UPLC system on which it is based. Uh, we've brought it down, again, to a manufacturing floor opportunity uh, implementation. So there was some unique engineering that we had to do in order to uh, assure uptime for our customers. Mm -hmm. But it does uh, take the same UPLC engine that customers are using today uh, in laboratories and bring that technology down to the manufacturing floor. So the quality of data that is generated on a patrol system will be identical to the quality of data you can get from an existing UPLC system. And what kinds of things have you heard from your customers so far? I mean, what, what are the benefits they've been telling you about? Yeah, the benefits are very much in line with what customers are seeing from the Acuity UPLC system. In taking these methods down onto the manufacturing floor, they're able to run uh, methods about 10 times faster than what they were previously able to do with LC. And interestingly, you mentioned the idea of real-time analysis, and that's, in essence, what UPLC has enabled these customers to do is bring methods that may have taken 45 minutes, 60 minutes down to the floor so now they can get their results in two or three minutes. From uh, a operational perspective, we've all heard about the acetonitrile shortage and our customers are telling us that they can cut back on the amount of acetonitrile that they use for their analyses by up to 95%. So with the shorter run times and more efficient linear velocities that they use for their separations, they can save a considerable amount of uh, expense. Yeah, well, let's dig into that a little bit. What have you? What are your customers been telling you about about cost savings? I mean, obviously, whenever you're more efficient, you're going to save. But do they have some uh, some specific support? Yeah, um, customers have not given us specific numbers as to what they've been able to save. And when you look at the manufacturing process of a therapeutic today, uh, there are a number of different ways that you can save. Uh, by introducing efficiency. One certainly is you can increase the yield of each step. If you're able to monitor your step more closely, you know when to start, when to stop, when to harvest uh, more accurately, and therefore you can increase your overall yield. At the same time, depending upon what's important at any given step, you have the ability to uh, gain more purity, keep your uh, molecule of interest at a higher concentration, so from a time perspective, this can enable you to move more product through your manufacturing process, um, or again, as I mentioned earlier, increase the yields of that process. Mm -hmm. Which uh, obviously is great for your company, but this is also in line with the initiatives that the FDA has in terms of process analytical technologies, improving overall operational efficiencies, things like that. Um, what have you heard from regulatory professionals at your clients, from FDA people? 
Yeah. Is this- Again, it's a great question because in the opportunities I've had to speak to regulators, um, they view this not so much as a device for PAT or, or a PAT sensor. They really see this as part of an overall quality by design strategy. And QBD seems to be getting a lot of interest uh, as of late. And the unique aspect of this uh, system is simply you can begin with an acuity UPLC and in initial discovery and use that technology to its fullest uh, extent in discovery. And then as you move through development, formulations, scale up, and even pilot scale production, you're still utilizing the same technology. So it's a fluid technology all the way through to manufacturing. Now the patrol UPLC system is just the embodiment of UPLC for manufacturing. But what the uh, regulatory bodies and what the regulators are saying they like to see is the ability to have this consistent technology. So what happens in uh, early development is direct, can be directly related to what's occurring in manufacturing. And that's that whole quality by design aspect um, of the system has become extremely important for our customers. Are there other specific aspects that lend themselves to compliance? Yes, uh, water's probably uh, one of our strongest portfolios of products is based on compliance. Um, Empower, our chromatography data system, is pretty much the gold standard of CDSs out on the market because it's known for its its, uh, compliance. We also have additional technologies like advanced qualification technologies or what we call AQT that is applicable to this system um, that enables you to uh, very rapidly and consistently ensure that the system is uh, fully qualified and operating properly. We've also integrated uh, system suitability options into the system so we can at any given time run a sys suit experiment to ensure that the instrument is uh, up and running appropriately. Another product that we have incorporated into the system is what we call water scientific data management or SDMS and this enables our customers to manipulate data into trending and charting uh, in one simple, easy to use format. Mm -hmm. Again, something that's very important for development and and scale up as you go It it is, and it it always gives that customer the ability to take manufacturing line data and refer it back to what may have occurred in early development Mm -hmm. in in a very seamless way. So I'm sure it's been very popular so far. Where to from here? What do you expect to to see and what are you developing with Patrol? Yeah, the the Patrol system uh, is very much a family of systems. Uh, At PitCon 2008, we introduced what we call the Patrol online system. And the online system uh, has a fluidic uh, path such that it can sample directly from a bioreactor or a large-scale reactor or a slipstream uh, from process chromatography equipment. And this year we're introducing the Atline system, which is our first extension of the patrol family, in which we had a customer come to us and say, we have a particular application that online will not work for. Would you develop for us a system where our operator can come and deliver a sample to the system. Mm -hmm. So it's still down on the manufacturing floor, but it's not directly plumbed into the manufacturing line. It is separate, though it sits down there. And this particular customer, interestingly, gave us a very specific uh, task, and not an easy task, in that their workflow is their technician gets a barcoded sample, or excuse me, a barcoded vial, puts a sample in it, caps it, and all they want that technician to do is walk up to the system that may be running, it may be idle, uh, and load a sample. They'll push that button, they'll wait for the system to say it's okay to load, they'll take that barcoded sample, deliver it to the system, the system will then read that barcode, verify that that sample is appropriate to be analyzed by this system, and then it will begin the analysis. Seems seems too easy almost, but I'm sure it's not. But that is precisely what this customer asked us to do. It has to be extremely easy. Vial, barcode, sample, cap, deliver to the instrument, and walk away. Everything's driven off of that barcode. Uh, One of the most important aspects of it for this customer was chain of custody. Mm -hmm. The instrument had to read that barcode and then accept that vial because if that barcode or that sample was not appropriate for this instrument to analyze, they wanted to be sure that the button goes to yellow, our tower goes from green to yellow, an email is sent out 
to either that technician or that technician supervisor saying the wrong sample has been delivered to the system. Great. Well, Craig Dobbs, thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate Paul, it. Paul, thank you very much.